Hey everyone out there, welcome back to Crypto Coins NFT Gaming. My name is William. Today we've got Monstera for you. It is a sweet game that we are definitely going to play together. Uh, I did some playing with it myself while I was off the air, and now I'm going to play with you guys. Um, let's get into what it looks like. Here we go. All right, this is it. Monstera, farm, battle, and earn. Let's talk a little bit about Monstera. It's powered by Crescent Shine Studio. It is a free-to-play and earn multi-chain game running on BNB, Avalanche, and OKC Networks and inspired by the gameplay in Clash of Clan or Boom Beach of Supercell. The game sets foot in a fictional world and revolves around farming, property, building, and battling with other lands with the magical creatures named Mongan. Yeah, the Mongan are pretty cool. The revolutionized design of Monstera is a combination of free-to-play, play-for-fun, and play-to-earn models, which allows millions of gaming enthusiasts to enjoy fun and have a high profit stream with no prior investment, guys. Let's just go right in and play this game. What do you think? What do you think? Let's do it. All right. So first, you're going to make a, a character name. I signed up with my wallet, um, and then I used the BNB uh, to do that. So I'm going to call myself William Superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I have read the, agree uh, the agreement. Uh, no, not really, but I clicked it. <laughs> I am definitely over 18. All right. I'm continuing in. Welcome to Monstera World, it says. Land is required to build up your own base. So let's claim that land. Here we go. Boom. We are in, guys. We are in. First of all, you need Mongans to help you with the base development tasks. Mongan can be hatched from the hatchery like this. That's the hatchery. Let's go ahead and check inside of the hatchery for the first soul core. Let's go on in. All available soul cores will be listed here. Choose the soul core that you want uh, to start hatching. So I only have one. I'm going to hatch that. The hatching progress needs your confirmation to start. Go ahead and hatch. Now the soul core is being incubated. The waiting time is pretty long, so you can pay for skipping. Good news, first time is free. So you guys can pay for skipping uh, this stuff, or you can just wait the time out, which is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to skip this since we have a free one. And boom, <laughs> my first Mongan. New Mongan is ready to be claimed. You can welcome your first Mongan now. So let's go ahead and claim that Mongan. Yeah, the claim Mongan is stored in the inventory. All right, each Mongan will need a habitat for staying. Check habitat for feeding your beloved Mongan. Before we go any further, let's see what Mongans actually are. Let's go check out their YouTube video real fast. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a legend about a beautiful land. This place is surrounded by a magic tree called the World Tree. Over thousands so this is of what years it's of all about. This guys. tree has really crystallized cool. spiritual seeds, so called, to bring life to this place. They grew up into five races named Chaos, Beasts, Mythic, Tectos, Celeste. Each individual has its own unique powers of the species unfortunately against the wishes of the world tree they do not want to live in peace each species has its own ideal and wants its race to be the supreme build your dream kingdom build your dream kingdom breeding so you're gonna breed you guys and they'll give you an egg like I just had and action. Your Mongans will be amazing. Oh yeah. Need that Mongan. Beat the 
best and battle the rest. That's the idea, guys. That's what we're doing right now. So, we just bred a... Uh, well, we didn't breed it. We got an egg. So, we hatched our egg. Now, we got a mangan. And now, we're going to put our mangan in a habitat. So, enter the habitat now. We're going to select... Here's an available slot. You see these are locked. I'm going to select the mangan that I just uh, hatched. And he looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Let that mangan stay here for now, most definitely. The mangan is hungry. You can feed it with foods. So definitely have to feed your mangan. Each mangan will need different amounts of foods for filling up its stomach. Let's see here you can feed it. So I'm going to go ahead and feed it. Feed to the max. Oh, I guess I have to do this one for now. So we're going to feed it all the way up to five. Boom. Your mangan is full now. Let's move on. So we've got a nice, full, healthy mangan. All right. And we're following this tutorial, so I guess we kind of just got to go, go with the flow. So here's our farm. Each farm has different potential for food production. So let's go ahead and check that out. Mangan can help you with the farming task. So we can select our mangan, assign it. And it appears there are three options to produce foods. Let's try the first one. So now we, the foods will be cleanable after finishing the production time. So basically we have to wait for this time. That's the free to play, or we can actually use some of our hard earned dough and skip this time. So you can see skip now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this cause they don't want me to skip. Um, and congratulations. Here's a small gift to congratulate you on completing the tutorial. 68 experience points. That's awesome. And we get a reward of another egg. Definitely want to claim that. You have now reached level two. Let's open the daily quest. All right, before we open the daily quest, I want to, I guess I have to. All right, please work hard on the daily quest. All right, so daily check-in. Let's go ahead and claim that. Claim, we got 500 food. Definitely necessary. We got the farm request. Uh, and we'll come back to this. Right now I want to play the music, but to play the music, I want to turn it at least halfway down. And now I'll turn it on. Yeah, yeah, now we got some tunes. All right. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's go back to our daily quest and let's go hit that farm request. So we can skip this now for free. Claim our stuff. And farmer manager. Let's go ahead and farm some more. Pick a product option. We want some purple berries. We're not gonna skip. We can skip it now, but then it's gonna charge us. So then it, see, it'll go for our wallet and hit us for that BMB. So I went to charge. You can't see it, but it wants 0.66 BNB. So uh, we're going to reject that and just play. And we'll wait. All right, we got a minute on that one. So while that's doing that, let's go and check out what we've got going on here. So you can see my little dude here is busy making some grub. And let's go over to our hatchery and see if we can hatch that other egg. Alright, so if we want to skip it, it's going to take 16 of those gems. We don't have any of those gems. We've got these. Oh, we don't have any gems at all. So we have to go get some gems. What's over here? What do we got? The food storage. That's where our food is stored. Over here, we got the breeding den. So we can select our mongans and then breed them. And over here we've got the egg hatching and we've got 19 seconds till oh boy. Oh, we can skip it. Good. We're skipping it. All right, let's go back to this guy's habitat and feed. Feed Seymour. Nice and nice and juicy. We powered him up pretty good. We're gonna save. We're gonna save the 160 for the other dude when he's done. All right, let's go ahead and check our troops. 
We've got a uh, mushroom. Let's see what the mushroom has. Mushroom's got a mushroom sheep. Uh, attack of poison. Deals 30 damage. You got accuracies 4, 3 power. And then we've got another poison sludge. It deals 60.96 damage. We're going to need that in the battle. So let's go ahead and uh, grab one of these guys. I think we get three of them. Then we've got the Papcon Common. This guy's got a really awesome attack. 103 damage. We definitely want that guy. 123 on that one. And I believe you can defend with these guys as well. So there's different options you have with these that you can use them when you're in the battle system. We want one of these guys. Let's check out our blue fish. Deals 40 damage. And 121 with that. But what do we got here? 18... It's, um, it's defense levels at 19. What's this guy's defense level? Zero. So we definitely want this guy as a defense. So just to have a little something. This guy gets hit, he's going down. What's this guy's defense level? All right, seven. All right, so our troops are picked for old boy. We're going to go ahead and head out of here. We got four minutes to wait for this. <coughs> And while that's going on, let's check out our ar army and train some people. So here's our tactic manager. We have no training manager yet. I don't think we have a battlefield yet. Build. Habitats. We've got none. Military. We've got no habitats yet. So we can't build anything. So, let's check our daily quests and start doing this, I suppose. Claim that reward. So we got uh, 30 EXP on that one. Claim that reward. You need to upgrade your land plot to level up your profile and become stronger. Let's do it. So let's go ahead and upgrade. Let's try to upgrade your land core first. Boom. Land core is still upgraded. Great news. Skip the wait time for the first time. It's free. You, you know it. Congratulations. Now your land has been expanded. Let's claim that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we got a reward. We've got a habitat, and we got some money. Claim it. And we leveled, we leveled up. We got another one. We unlocked adventure mode. 500 more food. And we've got another habitat. That's some good stuff right here. You just received a training ground. Great, let's deploy it. I needed that. Let's deploy it. So here, let's put the training ground. You will need to train your troops. Boom. Let's put it... Yeah, right there is great. I like it. All right, let's apply. Exit. And our Mongan will be stronger when fighting their troops. Troops need to be trained before going into battle. Let's do it. Remember, we picked some of our troops. We picked three of them. So now, from our old boy here, let's go ahead. Troop needs food and time to train. Let's do it. So, let's go ahead and train them twice. Bring troops to the fight with you. You need to set up a strategy for the manga, otherwise things get crazy. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy up there and put this guy up there twice. We're going to go ahead and skip we're not going to skip. <laughs> I guess not. We're going to go ahead and claim. Skip for free. Claim. It's time. You're ready to explore the rest of the continent and join the battle. All right. We're going to fight, but we're going to fight now. Adventure mode will give you rewards according to your battle progress. All right. Let's go ahead and battle then. Now let's join the battle. Stage one. Let's do this. So remember, I have those three guys with me. They're going to help me fight this stuff, and we're going to take them out. The progress of the level depends on the destruction of the land. The first time you reach the star milestones, you will be rewarded. All right, let's do it. Go in here. Destroy 25% of the enemy's land. Destroy 50% of the enemy's land. All three stars, 75%. All right, let's deploy our troops. You can only send a certain number of Mangan into battle. Choose carefully. Fight! Let's do this. Oh, yeah. 
Fighting this thing right here. And these guys are laying waste to this food production storage facility. That's the food production, that's the storage facility. We're getting some of that food. We are getting the food. And you can see the power level right here. We're taking them out. All three of my little dudes plus me are all attacking this thing at the same time. It's great. <laughs> Come on, guys. And I've got two minutes to, to see it happen. It looks like it's going to happen. All right. So now we're going to take out the food production facility. I've got no one attacking me back. There it is. Master, I want a shield. So I guess we have to pick the shield. All right, we're going to go ahead and go home because I want to hatch my new dude. Yeah, yeah. Look at that guy. He's so cute. Claiming that dude. So here we got the hot news coming up. Uh, don't, sh don't show up for today. But you can join this stuff, guys. There's so much good stuff to do while you're playing. All right, let's zoom in. Let's give our guy a habitat. So we've got to build. Let's build our little habitat for our dude. Can we move it? I don't want our dude to be next to our other dude. So they can be neighbors. Right here. Alright. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be friends. Just like that. Alright. So we can come out of here. Apply that. And exit. And their little dude. We can assign there. We're gonna feed this guy. Oh, we're out of food. That's fine. We're gonna pick some troops for this dude. All right, the Yeti common. Let's see what it can do. 80% throw snowballs. 80 damage, 60 damage with its ice. Let's go ahead and close this out. We'll take one of you, one of you, one of you. We got skills, change basic skills. These are our skills, the throw in the lightning and the snowballs and all that stuff. You can change your basic skills right here, but you're gonna need things to do it. So say I wanted to change it to shock damage, which is 13, uh, this is 34. So, say I want to change it to this one. You would need these to do that, and I don't have any. So, when I get some, I can change my skills. So, until then, we're just going to close out. And we're going to head out of there. We are going to go into training mode. Right here. We're going to select our dude. And we're going to train... I don't have enough food. Uh, so let's go ahead and battle. Let's go ahead and fight and get some food. All right, we need food, so let's set the mangan up in there. We're gonna deploy this guy here, and we're gonna deploy this guy right here on the other side, right here. Deploy, fight. Here we go. Let's do it. Taking names, guys. Taking names. There it is. All right, we can see the statistics. Nice. 2,804, 11,316 on the sword. Nice. So we're gonna go home. Exit out of here. We're gonna head into the training facility. I'll rate it. Submit it. 
And let's go in here. We're gonna grab this guy. And we're gonna train these guys. Oh, I'm out of food again. That's alright. We're gonna train it, claim it. Alright, everybody's got one. How about the other guy? He's got zero, but I got no food. Let's go ahead and put these guys into food production because I want to save up their battle time. And our army we've seen, you can shop right here, you can buy stuff. So for 1500 I can get more stuff here. Um, how much do I have? I've got 536, so I need quite a bit more before I can get any of this, these lands here, these habitats. So, oh, there's a farm in there too. You got a workshop where you can craft stuff, a dye house where you can make your own goods. Um, here's my inventory, this is what I've got so far. You can convert to NFTs. So I guess you can take them all over the place. So we got Mongan, land plots, soul cores, I got none yet. Items, I've got one evolutionary item that I'm not gonna use yet. Uh, one blueprint. And no decor. Um, actions. We're working on this stuff. He's in the pasture, his own little little place. We got the miracle. I've got none of those yet. But when I do get those, it's gonna be a miracle. And the daily class quest, which I've already done. But you check those daily and you get it. So here's the community. You can even go over here, I believe, and chat with other people in the community. So, we're going to go global. Oh, you can join Telegram. So, that's pretty cool. That's a good way to see what's going on. Talk to the team. All that good stuff. So, talk, check them out on Telegram. You got the vault. So, mag shared revenue and all that good stuff. And then we've got the clan and the mail. I've got mail. An upcoming event. MSTR spending C. Uh... There's an event page on April 10th that we can check out. So, got another event here on April 5th. Missed that one. Um, and, ah, just welcome. Hello. All right, guys, that's your basic gameplay for this. Uh, I really uh, recommend that you go down the, the below in the description. Check it out. Hit that link. Go in and play this game. It's super fun. It's super addictive. You will love it. Uh, guaranteed. Um, my name is William. This is CryptoCoins NFT Gaming. I love Monstera. I was playing this for at least three hours before I uh, even shot this video. So just so you know, I have another account with a lot more going on. Guys, if you like this video, if you like our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button to help us out with the algorithm so more people can be seeing what you guys are seeing. Um, and until the next one, stay awesome, stay classy. Peace.